percent honest. Do you mind? I'm trying to start my vlog. It's way too early in the morning for me to talk and it's windy, but I'm on my way to work. It's 6 30 a.m. I am so grumpy when I wake up this early, so um <laughs> Guys, don't really want to see this, but basically, also, like, why can I not get you at the right angle? Basically, I am on my way to work, and today I'm gonna take you guys around with me. I've only got work seven to nine today, it's a very easy shift. Um, that shift literally, I make some kids some breakfast and walk them to school. Anyway, I'm on my way to do that. I got my little smart car. Yeah, I don't want to show you guys my number plate, but here's my tiny little car. Hopefully, it's gonna be a good day. about me going dropping now but just know that everything i do i'm doing it for you and i know it's gonna work out but i just need some time to prove thinking back to when i finished college almost left the town i was focused on the music i just wanted to surround myself with all the stars thinking they would help me i may have had a sneaky spoonful of nutella but that's okay it's friday morning add that to the list of things that i've eaten so i've broken the fast today <laughs> with a spoonful of Nutella, but that's all right. I'm currently drinking a coffee and I will have some breakfast when I get back from the school drop off. Okay, so I'm feeling a little bit more alive now. It's nearly 10 o'clock in the morning. I think I'm pretty much done here. I've just been cleaning and like doing chores and doing all the washing and just normal housewife stuff like that. And I'm about to have breakfast. As you saw earlier, I definitely had a, um, a spoonful, a very generous spoonful of Nutella because what happens is the little girl that I look after, she always has a bagel with Nutella and she always leaves like the knife in the Nutella jar. And I'm sorry, but if you can just put a knife from a Nutella or peanut butter jar straight in the dishwasher without licking it, you probably are a little bit broken. So I always like just, you know, treat myself to a little bit of Nutella. I need it in the morning. I have had a coffee. I've been having these decaf capsules. I'm actually gonna show you them because I don't really recommend them. But they're these Taylors of Harrogate decaf capsules. And I think the Taylors of Harrogate are actually like, is it Harrogate or Harrogate? I'm not sure. But I think that they're actually like a tea brand. And personally, I think they should stick to making tea because it just, no, it's just not very nice coffee. It's not very strong, but my caffeine tolerance has been going up lately So I'm hoping that soon I can actually drink real coffee because that would be nice Which gets me on quite nicely to my next topic My next topic. What am I? Uh, as of next week, my life is going to just be absolutely insane so i'll be working three jobs so my child mining job i'm also working at a cafe and i'm also working for a meal prep business so that means that like literally i'm going to be working seven days a week it'll be most days will be during the week child mining in the morning so from like seven till nine then working at the cafe ten till two and then back here for like three till six ish and then maybe going to the gym afterwards on wednesday morning and sunday morning I am working for this meal prep business and then all day Saturday I'm working at the cafe. It's just gonna be absolutely insane. But I'm looking forward to it. I do love working, like I'm a big worker and when I have days like, you know, like after this, I haven't really got anything else much to do for the day. I'd rather be working if that makes sense. I'm just, I've always been like that. I had my first job when I was 14 years old. And so I am looking forward to it, but I'm gonna have to get super organized, which I'll do on Sunday. I'm gonna have to like meal prep every morning meal and make sure I've got enough in the house and just do all of that stuff but I think it'll be good actually so I'm just about to have some breakfast now usually I will take a prep breakfast with me I'll put some oats in a container with some chia seeds protein powder greens powder and water so I'll soak it and then I'll just heat it up in the microwave and have it with some fruit and dark chocolate and things 
but I didn't do that last night because I couldn't be bothered. So I'm sort of scraping together everything that I have here because I do keep a little bit of food here in case of emergency like this time. So I'll show you what I am going to have. It's literally the weirdest mix. So I have a cinnamon raisin bagel thin. I have an apple. I have just some raspberries, like literally like a handful. And then I have half of one of these Moseroth bars so i get from audi they're really really good they're 25 gram bars and you can get milk chocolate uh 55 percent 70 percent and 85 percent and i get the 85 percent dark and then i'll either have the whole thing or i will like sort of cut them in half and just have half so i'm going to toast that bagel i may also have like i don't know the idea of a dry bagel really freaks me out but they don't like usually i would get some like cork or maybe make some like protein stuff but they have, ugh, all they have is margarine, but that'll do. So I'll probably have like a little bit of that on top as well, just because I don't really want to dry. But I'll show you guys that when it's done. Today's full day of eating is going to be like very realistic because none of my meals are prepped. Everything's going to be pretty much off the cuff. So you'll see what I eat on a, on a non-Instagram day because this is the stuff that I don't really show online. And you'll see that I'm not a clean eater. I'm not some sort of health freak. I just sort of eat what I want which I think this meal is a good representation of that so I'm feeling pretty hungry I'm gonna make that and I'll show you when I'm done but really had to focus on what I had built inside cuz I know I'ma get it but just know it takes time I hate to see you worry but just know that I'll be fine I'm waiting for the day when we can sit and reminisce I'ma take you around the world and buy you anything you wish but for now just know that I've been working more than ever I know that I'ma get it so the family living better I know that you still love me but I want to make you proud I'm just heading off to the gym now. I have a back and biceps workout planned. Hopefully I'll actually try and get some footage of it because it's usually quite quiet at the gym at this time. But yes, I am all done here. I just have to grab my sunglasses and my keys. And then I think I'm gonna go do Audi afterwards to pick up some vegetables and some supplies. So I might take you guys along with me. But yeah, I will see you guys at the gym. I can't wait to see you smiling up in front of the whole crowd. Like I know I'ma get it, I just don't know how. I've never felt how I feel right now, but everything is alright. Everything is alright. And Papa, don't worry, I'ma make you proud. I know you're scared, but it's gonna work out. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I, 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 I know that I owe you back for everything you done. You left your happy to help me pay my college funds living all alone in a place that you never been and you worked your whole life to put me in a place to win so i can't stop now no i won't stop now and i know that i'ma get it but i don't know how either make it as a dentist or just make it through the music you gave me everything you got just know i never lose it nothing in this life i got can so it is now about 1 30 my workout is all done and i'm just heading to audi i was in the gym for eight weeks so what's going on embarrassing but anyway I was in the gym for ages I have to go right now okay I'm gonna do that thing where I vlog at like a really awkward angle but anyway I was in the gym for over two hours because when I have the time I really just like to take my time with every movement and I like to stretch and I like to chat and sort of do all that and as I have you know the rest of the day off I figured I may as well do that but yeah I'm gonna head to Audi because usually I do my big food shop on Sunday which I still will do but I've run out completely of vegetables and if you know what to think about me I need my vegetables so hopefully I'll get some footage in there but this Audi is always crazy busy it makes me very stressed I'm already having an anxious day so maybe not okay so I went to Audi but as expected there were people everywhere and I don't know what it is about that Audi but everyone just gets in my way but anyway I only spent two pounds in Audi and for that two pounds I got two heads of broccoli I got a whole thing of mushrooms how much is in here 400 grams and I got a kilo of carrots so I mean for two pounds all of that that's why I get my fruit and veg at Audi it's always fresh it's always good so the plan is now to have something to eat because it's like two o'clock and I haven't eaten since breakfast time and then I'm going to chill out for a bit because I think I need it to be honest then I'm going to go for a walk I don't know what it is I need to put you guys where like it's like a better angle <laughs> Okay, maybe not there, maybe not there. I'll go here. I don't know what it is, and now the sun's in my eyes. But lately, I have been so moody. I don't know, like, I think my period's due. I'm not entirely sure, but I just feel like I'm in a bad mood all the time. I've noticed it maybe, like, a week or two weeks. So, actually, I noticed it when I was really ill two weeks ago. 
but I'm just like in a grump and I don't know if it's because I'm tired because this week has been a busy week I just haven't stopped and I'm I'm actually feeling the effects of that now I don't know like half of it's probably because I'm actually really hungry right now and <laughs> don't be around me when I'm hungry just a word of advice I don't know if it's because I've been driving a lot as well and sometimes I find driving like really frustrating I try not to let it get to me but I do like typical Australian getting like frustrated by traffic so I'm going to put my stuff away and then make something to eat and just chill out a little bit because I am so bad at relaxing, especially during the day. Once it gets to eight o'clock at night, I'm so done. Like I have to relax. But anytime before that, I really, really struggle. Think that that's what I need to do. I don't know why I decided to eat like a five-year-old today, but this is just what I'm feeling. Like when I'm working, I'm making a lot of meals. So when it comes to me, if I haven't meal prepped, I just can't be bothered to put a meal together. So I'm trying this new protein bar, which I'll show you guys when it's open. I've heard really, really good things. So Stax bar, dark chocolate mint. I've got a banana, which I sprinkled with cinnamon a carrot and some mushrooms like i said i don't know i really don't know but this is exactly what i feel like verdict on this protein bar i've only had one bite so far it's really nice it's got i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it's oh there we go it's got like a minty soft layer a chocolate layer and then these crispy bits at the top but yeah it's actually really really good it's 222 calories for the whole thing 20 grams of protein don't remember the rest of the macros but i quite like it so i recommend it i don't actually know where it's from i'll try and find out where it's from because I only saw it when I went to Protein House in London. Is it British? Rochester, I would think so. Okay, so it is a British brand. Never be for certain, but I'ma make it work and make your hard work worth it. And as the clock ticks, I know you're deep down hurting. I'm doing everything I can to make sure it don't worsen. But now, just know that I've been working more than... Just had about like an hour's worth of just lying down, chilling out. It was actually really nice. And for 30 minutes, I set a timer. This is what I do like every now and then, literally like... I let myself relax like once a week. Anyway, I set a 30 minute timer and I listened to some like really good chill out music. So I was just listening to like acoustic guitar music. I don't sleep because I'm not a napper. I just sort of zone out from the world and it's really, really nice. Also, I just realized I'm chewing gum and that's kind of really gross on camera. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, since it's such a gorgeous day still, it's about 10 past four at the moment. I am going to go for a walk through Hove Park, which I have not even been to Hove Park since I've lived here and I lived in Hove for nearly four months now but I have driven past it a lot and it looks really really nice and I think today's gonna be the perfect day for it. Also they've got a really big TK Maxx there and I mean any excuse to go for a shop so I may visit the TK Maxx. I may also visit Waitrose. Oops. I was gonna get a piercing today. I really want to get my ear pierced here but I'm in two minds because when I wear my big headphones I think it might irritate it especially for the first month or so. I can't make up my mind. So that's what I'm gonna do. I wanna show you guys the plant I bought yesterday. Excuse my knitting. But um, I've been wanting to get a plant for my flat for ages because I just think it's nice to have some, you know, some real foliage, I don't know. But it just came in this black thing and I was like, that's not very pretty. And so for now, I've just stuck it in this mug which has a big crack in it so I can't actually use it as a drinking mug. And I've put it on my desk. I've I'm kind of loving it, to be honest with you. That's that. I'm going to bring you guys along, hopefully get some nice footage. And let's go. I still feel half asleep. Found the TK Maxx and it's huge. Actually, you can't see it from here. But there's also a massive pet store. And it's like, is that weird if I go to a pet store and I don't have a pet? You know what? I'm going to go in anyway. I made it to Hove Park. It's actually quite awkward to film here because there are like a lot of people around. I don't know where to put my camera. Nowhere's like a good height. It's actually really, really nice here. I went to TK Maxx, but I didn't film in there just because I was actually really anxious to be honest with you. I ended up getting these essential oils, which I've been wanting these for ages. I think it cost me like 10 pounds, but it will be worth it because these last literally forever. So I got one that's de-stress, head clear and focus. So they look really, really nice. And then for three pounds, I literally got this face cream, which I mean, it's Japanese and Jap Japanese people always have really amazing skin, so can't go wrong, right? I'm a little bit afraid of big dogs and people are walking their like big dogs around here without leashes on and I'm like, really on edge right now, but the dogs are so friendly over here, so it's fine, but I'm just a little bit on edge, but I might walk up to Waitrose soon. It's nice to just kind of sit and chill here and not do anything. I've just been really anxious today. I don't know why that feeling has just lingered with me all day. But, you know, the best thing you can do sometimes is just accept it. <laughs> Kids are looking at me now. 
Okay, I'm putting you away while I'm out in public because not only are you seeing my face from like really weird angles, there was this family that just like full on stared at me for ages, even once I put the camera away. So I will speak to you guys later because I'm already anxious. I don't need to be more anxious right now. I'm back for my little adventure now. I did end up going to Waitrose because it was actually quite far away and I'm already on like, I've done so many steps today and I was like, I need to go home. I'm on, let's see. I'm on nearly 23,000 steps and it's only 20 past 6 so I was like you know what waitress can wait till another day. I'm actually feeling completely exhausted like that little nap thing that I had did absolutely nothing. This week has just been like work wise it hasn't been a busy week but I feel like I've just done a lot. Like most days I've been clocking up like 22,000 steps, 21,000 steps. Sorry I like I'm doing this because I feel bald. In my brain I sort of can't differentiate between tiredness and sadness so when I get very tired I get very sad like right now I feel really sad really anxious like I felt anxious all day I have found it really really difficult to breathe today like like I've really struggled and that's caused me to get lightheaded and then I get more anxious and it's just not a good time but I'm also feeling like really sad and I don't know why I just whenever I'm tired I get this sadness feeling so it's really important for me to rest but I'm really awful at rest so my plan is tomorrow to just have a day filled with things that I enjoy uh, because after that I'm pretty much working seven days a week which is insane so tomorrow I really need to just enjoy myself but I'm gonna have a pre-dinner snack because I'm low on calories I have started tracking again I took about two or three weeks off which was fantastic but while my activity levels are so high like this I actually need to track because otherwise I end up under eating not on purpose at all and not to lose weight or restrict just I actually need quite a lot of food to maintain my way of life and so if I'm not tracking I just can't be bothered to add those little extra bits I actually don't lose weight because my body's pretty good at like holding on to the weight. I don't gain weight very well. I don't lose weight very well, but I do just notice the difference in my energy. Anyway, long story short, I am tracking again and I am low today. So I am going to have a snack. It is 20 past six right now. And by the way, I kind of like that I add what time it is because when I watch these, what I eat in a day, no one ever adds the time. I'm like, what time are you eating? Like, this is so confusing. So it's 20 past six. And what I'm going to have is, oh, I have I'm gonna drink the rest of this. I've been loving these Pepsi Max gingers. To some of you that might sound gross, but to me it's so good. I think this is gonna be flat. I really like these. And I'm gonna have 200 grams of my new favorite thing, which I've only found these in Waitrose and Asta. It's basically called Lindahl's Kvarg. It is Swedish and actually my Swedish friend uh, like works with this company and they have so much cool stuff in Sweden so I wish they'd bring it over here. But this is going to be my March favourites for sure. Per 100 grams it has 12 grams of protein which is impressive and only 64 calories. So we're going to have 200 grams of this and I'm going to have that with 25 grams of this fuel. Peanut butter, I have a heap of these, they're the best. I'm actually going to use these ones. Do you know what? Having peanut butter in a squeezy pack is the most dangerous thing ever because if I'm ever just like in the mood for peanut butter, like literally straight in the mouth, this is so dangerous. So I reckon I'm going to have that finish drinking this Pepsi Max and just relax for a little bit but even speaking I'm um, even speaking to you guys makes me feel better so yeah I feel a little bit better than I did before I've currently just got dinner on the go I've got some rice which has finished cooking and then over here I have got some green veg and then I've got some chicken in this pan which I just season with salt and pepper then I add a mix of water plus this Glen Brothers sweet chili sauce which I've mentioned in my February favorites video and I also mentioned this in the favorites video as well which is my favorite sauce I used about 30 grams of this and I don't know probably about a spoonful of that so I'm just gonna wait for that to thicken up a little bit and then serve it with some avocado and some beetroot which doesn't go with it at all but I need to eat this up here is the finished product in all of its glory it's like the first proper meal meal looking thing I've had today so I got my veg my chicken which I tried a bit in that sauce oh my god so good avocado beetroot and of course i need mustard and ketchup with every single meal and rice with lots of pepper so i'm gonna eat this now i'm actually not hungry i'm no appetite today but i'm just trying to get it in because i know i need to eat and uh yeah also oh no i showed you guys a plant never mind never mind oh and that is my
my knitting by the way. I am very, very excited right now because it's like quarter past nine at night. I've got my pint of cinnamon roll halo top and yes, I do eat the whole thing because I don't think it's an option to not eat the whole thing. I've got my little setup here with like all of my warm blankets and just niceness and oh, this is going to be so good. So this halo top is like literally one of my favorite favorite flavors og subscribers know that i used to eat halo top all the time in australia and then it came to the uk and they have different flavors in the uk so <clears throat> we have cinnamon roll and we have cookie dough which they don't have in australia although in australia you do get like s'mores which is pretty good and birthday cake but i personally think these are better so i'm gonna eat this now i'm gonna ooh, see if i can find a chunk for you guys to see so you can see all throughout it has like these bits of cinnamon roll just oh my god i am so excited i cannot wait any longer time for me to eat this ice cream is all done now it was so good i love that flavor so much it's currently three pounds 50 in, in tesco as well on offer so hopefully by the time you're watching this is still on offer go stock up because i will be i am just sitting on my bed right now i'm so comfy and so cozy i have like my dressing gown as a blanket i've got my hot water bottle and i just this is exactly what i needed like i needed a friday night of just relaxing and just yeah being really cozy so i'm feeling really good which is fantastic because usually at night that's when I struggle the most, I think. So it's just nice to feel pretty chilled. Except I'm watching One Born Every Minute, which is a show about like just ladies giving birth, kind of like 24 hours in emergency. And there's this one lady and she is giving birth so loudly and screaming so loudly. And these walls in the apartment are really thin. So I'm worried that like my neighbors are just hearing all of this like screaming and wondering what the hell is going on that I mean like murdered or something. I have to like mute it every time she has a contraction. Her husband's just fainted so I mean I don't know why I'm telling you about this but there you go. I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked seeing what I eat. It's been ages since I did a full day of eating. If you've got any questions about anything that I eat make sure to leave a comment down below. Just ask me. Follow me on my social media channels. And that's about it from me. So again, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for all of your support, guys. It honestly, it means the world to me. And it makes me feel so good, especially in those times when I feel lonely or I just feel like none of this is worth it. It really, really gets me through. So thank you so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video.